here today with a live reaction to the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 30. Let's jump right into this man. So Alright. Also, guys, I think I'll only do a couple more reactions for today. Probably a couple more after this. Look at this. This was, I'm assuming this is when Mustang was young. Protecting the people, protecting the people my foot. You, he's probably in his head like, you want to overuse the power, abuse, hurt the weak. He doesn't want to be a state alchemist, that's the thing. Master Hawkeye! What? That's Hawkeye's dad, yo! Wait, what the heck? Look at Hawkeye, she looks... Her hair is so short and stuff. She looks so young. Mustang still looks the same. He gives it all for the country. Look, he put it on her back. Wow, he put it on her back. Whoa, you saw her, you saw Hawkeye's back with the burn marks and stuff like that. And the, I guess the flame alchemist formula there. But she didn't. Mm hmm you're right. <laughs> Spit on the dog's face! Yeah, you're the poor dog, man. 
Ed, you love her, man. Stop, stop faking it. Love doesn't have to be like romantic love. It could just be friendly family love as well. But I think it's romantic. Please. Talk, Dr. Markle. A kid, though. But you know, Envy has no heart. Number three zero six six. Did she say? Look at them. Yo. Look at that man. Hawkeye? That has to be Hawkeye? Look at her eyes. Look at, look at how monstrous they are! Like, a snap of a finger, you're dead! A punch on a wall, you're dead! You feel like this is crazy power? Armstrong? I couldn't live with myself after something like this. I couldn't. I wouldn't know how. You killed many people, man. But it's like everyone is distraught about this. You can't feel me. It's not like, it's, I feel like a lot of people here feel bad. Look at their expressions. Look at that blood right behind them. Honestly, I feel like the thing that really makes me upset about this is the fact that like this was all started because of Envy. Like it all started because of Envy. And Envy is a homunculi. And the whole motive of this was to create a philosopher's stone. You kind of get me. <laughs> he 
his family. Okay. Do you remember me? It's been a while! Is this how we re-met? Yes, shut up! Yes, that dude in the jail! I don't know his name though. Wait, I think I. Quimbley? Is it Quimbley? I don't know. Kimberly. It's Kimberly? He likes this? He's right though? He's right? It's like he has a point. I can't even lie. Cause what he's saying is like, you come to battle, what do you expect you, you have to kill? It's like, you have to, the thing with this, there's too many different perspectives. That's the thing, who, you can't really pick a right and wrong side. Yo, they're suffering. Kimberly. That's how he was able to amass the power. Look at that.
Look at that. So basically, he's like, yo, we're top. Our, I feel like our, save the rest of our people, but take us. What happened to the Ishbalans is not right. Look, and this is when she got assigned to work with him. For the future. Look at that. Yo, you see? Oh man, the, the, the dynamic between Hawkeye and Mustang is something. If I stray from the path, you can shoot me with your hands. You can shoot me. Look at that. That is true. Exa That's the thing. It's like they started it. How? I mean, I guess we went on with it. Kimberly said that. You see, it's like, all right, I see exactly what they're saying. No biggie. Don't tell. No. She's just switching, swapping from the brothers. <laughs> like what the heck?
vengeance. Oh! The episode finished! Yo, the thing with freaking Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, right? The episode's end, yo, and it's like, you don't even know it ended? Like, what the heck? How does the episode finish and like, I can't even say nothing? Like, you know? It doesn't just, like, go to the ending tune, or it doesn't show me that, oh, there's a preview coming or something like that. You just start talking about what's happening next episode. I'm Wait, what? Oh, still preview? It just starts talking about the next episode, like, what the heck, yo? Like, you tell me, warn me, you feel me? Warn me, man, but... Like, the thing is, right, the whole war situation, it's like, here's how I look at it. With war, you can look at it in many perspectives. Of course, like, the mainstream way people look at war is, like, they say, oh, I'm trying to protect the country. Like, I'm trying to protect my country, so that's why I have to sully my hands. It's sully a word, but, you know, that's why I have to soil my hands and get them dirty to protect the country. And, like, that's so, like, overused. That's why I say it's mainstream, because everyone uses that. Like, that's like, kind of a bad example to go to war, to kill thousands of people, especially the way they did the Ishbalans. Like I said, the only thing that will always make me mad about the whole Ishbalan situation is the fact that it wasn't even, like, the homunculi started it, yo. And it was for a Philosopher's Stone, you feel me? Like, they started it. And it's like, it's not like any of us started it from the military or anything like that. It's not like a human started it. It was a freaking homunculi, you know what I mean? And because of that, we had to suffer. We have to go through this. People who had to participate in the war for their country or, you know, whatever their beliefs were. Like, Kimberly, Kimberly just looks like he wanted to join and have fun, yo. Freaking knocking the lamp. He looked like he just wanted to join in and just fight and kill people. That's all he wanted to do. But there's still people who joined because they cared for the country or they had different motives and different intentions. And because of that, now they're kind of, you know, like they have to live with this. This is something, you know, taking a life, to, if you ask me, is one of the, you know, scariest things you could do, right? Let me explain to you why. Because it's like, that's that blood on your hands. I feel like, because you know, I always think to myself, yo, if you took a life, how could you, you know, not like how could you live with yourself, but how would it be after you did that? You know what I mean? How would you feel after that? Like, because it's like, you think about it like this, right? I killed someone and now it's like I took someone out of this world, another human being. What gave me the right to do that? You feel me? It's like, what made, who gave me the power to take his life? And then it's like, even if it's self-defense, like, now I'm not saying don't self-defend yourself. If you have to self-defend yourself, you have to. And if the person ends up dying, yeah. I feel like, but self-defense is kind of a different scenario here. Because if it's self-defense, it's like, yeah, you'll probably feel guilty for taking his life, depending on the person you are. But you were defending yourself, so you won't feel as much burden and as much pain. But if it's like this, in this case, you're killing people, like, and you're killing countless people, man. It's like, how do you look at it? You get, like, I, like, you would just see their, them in your head all the time, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but like, man, the Ishbalan war. And I feel like, you see, Dr. Marco dying. I mean, like, with Dr. Marco, he wanted to die, though, because you, you see, like, the way he felt so guilty. He, he thought Ishbalan, he was crying tears of joy, I guess. He wanted to kill him, you know, he wanted X to kill him, and X did that. Vengeance right there. The whole thing is, like, I don't even, like, this, oh. The one thing that I hated, though, is, like, these people, like, the military was so loyal that no one even fought back or anything. And what I, like, Armstrong did fight back, but what I mean by that is, like, they're so loyal. It was like, you, I would expect, like, like, to be a civil war within the military. Like, them fighting against each other to do this, you kind of feel me. But no. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, you're amazing, yo. Peace out.